Hello. I have a couple important updates for you besides activities that we are doing that also have been caused by the pandemic. In case you haven't already heard, the deadline for the census has been moved up to September 30th. This is huge in a number of ways, from how we are funded, to how the districts for our elected officials are drawn up, to a whole number of other ways that affect healthcare, housing, and other issues that directly impact all of our lives. If you haven't already, please send in your form or call the COA for assistance in filling it out. We can help you over the phone to fill it out online. If someone from the Census Bureau comes to your door, meet with them outside, but just please make sure you are counted. The second issue, the IRS closed their doors when we did, and their mail, such as returns and checks, were not opened and are just sitting there. The IRS has started paying interest on refunds that were paid late. So... Some taxpayers might get a refund from more than expected. The IRS has indicated that the interest will be taxable income and a 1099 for interest will be issued for tax year 2020. For those of you that owed money and sent in a check rather than paying online, the IRS computers are still working. So they have e-filed returns, but don't know they have the checks. So they're sending letters to the taxpayers saying they didn't pay and adding penalties and interest. It's important that if you receive one of these letters, you don't put a stop payment on the check. It should all be worked out as the IRS cashes the checks received. Just check your bank account and respond to any IRS letters. We are still under Governor Baker's Safer at Home for those 65 and over, and Town Hall hasn't fully reopened, so we have no plans to reopen for the foreseeable future. However, we are able to meet with people one-on-one, -on -one, either outside or inside socially distanced. If you haven't gotten online and would like to and need help doing it, reach out to us and we'll help you get online, get on activities with us, or just be able to Zoom with your family when the cold weather returns and we all isolate again because we can no longer meet outside with friends and family. Burlington Rotary continues to provide volunteers from the high school to help us help you. We are continuing with our Tuesday morning coffee hours, but we are adding an afternoon one as well called High Tea or High Ball. Just a catchy name for essentially the same thing as Tuesday mornings. For October, we'll have it on the 7th at 4 p.m. It may change from month to month as my schedule allows, but we have heard a lot of feedback from folks that 9 a.m. is just too early. So we thought we'd also try late afternoon. John Clark returns with his music lectures. In October, he concentrates on 1950s jazz and the first decade of Motown. I will email the link to join each one. As always, if you want to join by phone, please call and let me know. That's all for now. I'm Marge McDonald, and I hope to see you in our virtual senior center.